Have you ever pondered how materials respond to electromagnetic fields? If you have, today's topic would be of great interest to you. We're delving into the fascinating world of electromagnetic properties, exploring how they define the behavior of various materials under the influence of electric and magnetic fields. Our first stop is conductivity. Think of it as a material's willingness to let an electric current pass through it. It's like a nightclub bouncer deciding who gets to party and who doesn't. Metals being the life of the party have high conductivity. They allow electric current to flow through them readily. On the other hand, insulators like rubber are the strict bouncers, allowing very little current to pass through. Next, we have permittivity. It's a measure of how a material can be polarized by an electric field. It's akin to how well a sponge soaks up water. The better the sponge, the more water it can hold. Similarly, a material with high permittivity stores more electrical energy when subjected to an electric field. Permeability is another interesting concept. It tells us about a material's ability to allow magnetic lines of flux to pass through it. Imagine a net. A net with larger holes allows more balls to pass through, just like a material with high permeability allows more magnetic lines of flux. Then we have the dielectric constant, which is just another name for permittivity, often used when discussing insulating materials. A higher dielectric constant means a greater ability to store electrical energy in an electric field. Lastly, we examine magnetic susceptibility, which quantifies how easily a material can be magnetized when exposed to an external magnetic field. It's like how easily a person can be persuaded. Some people are easily swayed, just like materials with high magnetic susceptibility are easily magnetized. In essence, these electromagnetic properties are the rule book that governs how materials interact with electric and magnetic fields. They're crucial in many scientific and engineering applications, from designing electronic circuits to studying materials for communication systems, and even in the development of technologies that manipulate electromagnetic fields. So, the next time you switch on a light bulb or use your mobile phone, remember, there's a whole world of electromagnetic properties at work, making our daily lives possible and convenient. It's indeed a fascinating world, isn't it?